Hello, this is Mike, and I'm going to show you how to change how a uh, Roll20 character sheet looks with CSS and using the um, sheet sandbox tools because someone asked how to do it. So I'm going to work with the community, the ND5E sheet. You can find it in GitHub. I'm going to put the link below. I Suddenly, uh, we can't use the official uh, five feet character sheet because it's not available. I read that you could find the legacy one, but I tried to set it up and it didn't work. So I'm going to make this example. Uh, I'm going to work with the community one. So it's here, it's this DND 5e. Uh, you have to download the HTML and the CSS, well, to HTML, you have to come here and press download. And then you can save this. You can just copy paste it to your uh, notepad plus plus. Um, yeah, notepad plus plus is a really nice um, software to work with HTML and CSS and it's free. I think I talked about this before. Anyways, so I'm gonna save us. Um, already had a copy of that here. So I'm just going to overwrite it uh, really quick. Yes, and then I'm going to download the CSS. Same, just copy. Okay. I'm copy pasting it because I tried to save it and it didn't work before. I don't know why. Anyways, there. Copy and paste. And then save as um, CSS. Well, let's put all types. Copy this name, but change the extension to CSS. Okie dokie. Now let's go to Sheets and Box Tools and load the HTML, load the CSS. Already, I already made a character here. So here it is. This is the community sheet. Okay, so let's say we want to change the color of these buttons here. We can put uh, right click on mouse, inspect, and then find the button, which is this line. It marks, as you can see, it marks what we are selecting and then you can see here the CSS and let's say for example we want to change the color of background uh, to red Ta -da. and let's change something else um, I don't know mm. <laughs> let's change this to yellow orange no that's really well, it's really ugly. Let's just leave it with white because, yeah. So let's just um, show you. I will show you with red here. So then we have to, we can copy this uh, name, name of the class and find it on our copy and notepad plus plus okay so it's here and then we can copy the color and save this now if we close this uh, everything here Let's see what happens. We open it again, nothing have changed. 
because you have to load the new CSS that you save in your uh, local drive. So that's what I'm going to do. Change it for the one from the local drive. And now is the color we changed. I don't know how risky it is to use this character sheet in the game. Maybe you will lose uh, your data. I don't know. But maybe not. I don't know. I'm just showing you how to do it. So if you lose that or something, don't blame me. And as I said, you can change many things. You can even like set a background, uh, change its image for a different one that's on the internet, um, change the font, uh, if we can find that. It's be here somewhere. Okay, you see, Fun Family, Helvetica, Arial. Let's change it for any with serif. You see, you change it. And well, let's put size 20 px just for example. And yep, you can change any cosmetics uh, on the character sheet. And it's going to work anyways the same way because this is just the how it looks. Doesn't have anything to do with the how it works. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, have a good night.